Hey guys, we have this MacBook Air here with an intermittent restarting problem. These are often quite difficult to diagnose and repair. Let's switch to the overhead camera view. We already have the bottom removed. Um, it's going to pull the board from the housing here. So this MacBook came in, customer says it um, continually and randomly will restart. Um, you can see a slight uh, corrosion on this corner here, on where the left speaker connects to the board. And initially when it came in, I grabbed a screenshot of the error. Switch to the um, display screen here and show you. Um, it actually says um, right here, um, audio speaker L. So we actually have a pretty good lead on this one. Uh, where we see that corrosion is where the left speaker connects. And um, yeah, we actually have a, a good lead to follow here. So let's uh, finish taking this board out of the housing. And take a look under the microscope. Uh, so we're also told that um, this machine was previously in at two different shops. They couldn't identify the issue. So it looks like the corrosion we see here uh, was previously cleaned up. I'm just going to quickly check the rest of the board. All right. Everything looks perfect. So I everything except this section here. So let's take a look at the um, board view for this model. Switch to the display screen again. So this is the section where we have our damage. Um, those two caps that don't look good are on the main power rail PP bus G3 hot. Those aren't going to be our problem. Um, so these two test points that look damaged on our board run through to the opposite, opposite side of the board to U6400. If we check that on the schematics, U6400 is in fact the left speaker amplifier and we have the I2C signals going through it because so you see that this is a, an I2C problem that's causing the restart. So I'm going to suggest that this chip is defective from the water damage and we're going to try replacing it. So let's switch back to the microscope scene. Flip the board. So this is our chip here. Um, so this is a newer model. We don't have access to this chip at the moment. Um, but I do have a donor board here. I'm just gonna compare. This is a different revision board. I wanna make sure it's the same chip. So there's our chip. I'm going to remove it from this donor board. We have the chip removed here. I'm going to clean and reball it.
grab a stencil. chip is ready to be installed onto our customer board now we're going to grab our customer board here and remove the suspected damaged IC We've removed the original chip. Now we're going to just tin these pads, clean it up, and prepare to install the new IC. Add some low melt solder here. And grab our copper wick. Now we can go ahead and install the, uh, the new IC we have. Let's add a uh, little bit of flux here. Make sure the chip is orientated correctly. can proceed with installing using hot air. Alright, chip is installed. Switch back to the overhead view. And let's get this board back into the housing. All right, so before this machine was randomly restarting every minute or so, we're past the six minute mark. So we know that uh, the machine has been repaired and the fault was in fact uh, the left uh, speaker IC. So I'll switch over to the, to the display screen here so we can run a recap. Um, so we, this machine came in restarting randomly. Um, when we opened it, there wasn't anything obvious, but we noticed some discoloration on these test points here. 
uh, SPK ramp L left LR clock runs directly to U6400, which is the um, left speaker amplifier IC. And initially when it came in, we managed to snap this screenshot here and we can see right here, it's mentions of a speaker woofer dash L. So that was enough of a lead to assume that this chip was the problem. Um, so replacing the chip has solved the issue and uh, we're ready to get this MacBook uh, assembled and back to the customer. Thanks for watching.